Hello friends, today I would like to show you a possibility of grafting a denium on a very unusual rootstock. When we think of grafting a denium, we think about grafting one species of adenium onto another species or within the same species one color of a flower cultivar onto another color cultivar the wedge grafting that would optically disappear in few years or flat grafting that would optically disappear in few months the twig grafting or sprout grafting which can give us plant with two swellings, one at the bottom and one at the graft side. Here is another nice example of a flat grafting. But while grafted any which way, what all these graftings have in common is that it is grafted one adenium onto another, same genus. Genus in botany and zoology being a term that means group of species. One of the characteristics of species within the genus is that, except some exceptions, they can be crossed with each other and also grafted onto each other. But can we graft a species onto another species that belongs to another genus? And if so, would it make any sense? Well, yes, exceptionally. There are such possibilities. And a watermelon can be grafted onto wild cucumber that is resistant to nematodes that are in the soil and attack watermelon roots. A citrus can be grafted on Poncirus trifoliata that would make citrus somewhat resistant to nematodes and to frost and make it grow semi-dwarf instead of full size. There is even contorted cultivar of Poncirus trifoliata called flying dragon that would dwarf a citrus tree still further if the rootstock is trifoliate orange Poncirus trifoliata cultivar flying dragon but can we do that with Adenium. 
is there a rootstock in a genus related to genus adenium that can be used as a rootstock? Bigger group than species is genus, bigger group than genus is family. The family into which genus adenium belongs is called Apocynaceae, something like that. Ceae is the ending of all the families. In case of this family, there are so many genera that this family is still divided into sub-families that would be closerly, closer related. It's called, the, the subfamily in which are adeniums is called Apocynoideae. But that one also is so large, containing so many genera, with so many different numbers of chromosomes, that it's just not compatible. That's why this subfamily is divided into tribes, and the tribe into which adenium gen genus belongs is called Rictiae. All right, now we are in a smaller group. Unfortunately, the plants in that group are so tiny, you can't use them as a rootstock, except one of them, Oleander. And what would be the purpose even if you were to succeed? Well, Oleander is more frost resistant than Adenium, and because plant is more likely to freeze, to don't survive mild winter as far as roots are concerned, rather than branches or leaves. People tried to graft adenium onto Oleander, and voila! They did succeeded. Let me show you. Some people succeeded. Here is a photo of Oleander as a rootstock having a denium grafted as a wedge grafting, V grafting. Here is another photo. And here is a third photo. And here is a fourth photo. And I even have a photo of a bloom of a denium grown on top of Oleander. So the question one might ask is, okay, since the adenium can survive outdoors, in mild winter when grafted on Oleander, why don't the people do that? Well, the problem is that once it's successfully grafted, The adenium on top of Oleander 
thickens much faster. And so under its weight, it'll break off if not tied up. And then if it'll tied up in a few more years, it'll uh, strangle the thinner rootstock because the scion on the top, the adenium, will grow thicker and thicker and thicker at way higher speed than oleander rootstock. And that's all I can say about this super duper unusual rootstock for adenium the intergeneric rootstock if you go to Google Scholar section of a Google and type intergeneric grafting. You can read up in scientific papers about different intergeneric grafting attempts. And that's all for now. Goodbye, friends. I hope you found this interesting, inspiring, mind-expanding. Goodbye.